Hey, beautifuls. Goodness gracious, it's so gorgeous outside right now. So I decided in my new backyard, um, which you kind of can't see any, any of it right now. It's still, it's still a little messy. Um, I figured I would hang out in my new backyard in the nice weather and do this Facebook Live with you guys. So um, I just got home after a long day, had a really great meeting with a few people. And um, I just wanted to jump on to give you an exercise that if you feel disengaged or uh, you feel like you kind of hate your job, you might hate your boss, whatever, um, then it's, there's a must-do exercise for you uh, to be able to move forward. So um, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Carly Myers. I am the founder um, and coach at A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka APOP Studios for short. And um, what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work uh, or their lives find their joy again. And so I do that through a combination of coaching, creative expression, and experiential activities. Um, but this master exercise is quite simple, actually, and but it is going to completely change the way you view whatever career path you're on right now, um, or whatever job you have that's paying the bills or supporting your family. Um, and the exercise is writing a letter to your job, to your employer, um, telling them why you love them, telling them why you're so grateful that they're in your life. And it sounds simple, but it also is, it probably sounds cringeworthy, right? Um, I've had plenty of clients, you know, come on board with me and we work together and that's the common thing. Like my boss said this, I, you know, I can't stand that. <clears throat> I'm overworked. I'm doing the job of three people. Da, 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 da. And yes, those things might be true. You might have a crappy boss and yes, you might be holding the workload of three people, if not an entire team. Um, or you just may not be respected and or feel as if you're respected. But the thing is, is that this job is part of your journey. And so what I would ask you to do is write this letter. <clears throat> excuse me. Write this letter and tell just like and you don't have to send it. You don't have to give it to anyone. Um, but really go through and write down all of the reasons that you're grateful um, and that you love this job. Because the reality is, is that when we first go into a job, we have this like sense of like falling in love, right? When we're like, yes, it's happening. I got the job. I got the interview. I got this, you know, and we can see the bigger picture. We can see why this job is like destined for us. It's the stepping stone for the next thing that we want to do, whether it's save more money so we can go back to school or, you know, it's the entry level position so that you can work your way up the ladder or get the experience so that you can start your own company, whatever it is, we can see that bigger picture when we first start. But we get a six months in, get a year in, get three years in, you know, the further we get in, the, the less likely we're able, you know, the less we're able to see the big picture that we had envisioned for ourselves. So the letter might consist of, um, you know, like, dear boss or dear organization. I love you so much. You know, I'm so, so grateful that day in and day out, you pay for my bills, you, you pay me, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you just keep going. And what this does is it completely shifts your perspective on where you're at right now in your job. Um, and it can do two things. It can, it can, can be really like a farewell letter, right? It can be like, this is, this is, I'm so grateful to have had, it's like a breakup letter sometimes um, when my clients are just like, I'm so grateful. It's not you, it's me. Um, and I love this, this, and this about you. Um, and it's time to move on. Or it's, I'm ready to renew my commitment with you. It's kind of like a relationship. Um, so it, it's all about perspective shifting. It's all about having a sense of abundance, whether that's time abundance or financial abund abundance or the feeling that this relationship is working for both of you um, between you and your employer. So just if you're feeling disengaged, which by the way, like 70% of our population, the US population is either disengaged or completely hates their job. So more likely than not, you're probably in this category. If you're feeling disengaged or you feel like you really don't like your job, it's probably time to sit down and write this letter. It's 
to say, you know, I'm so grateful and uh, here's all of the reasons I love you because this shift in perspective is not only going to make you more resilient, but it's probably going to give you some perspective on where your next, your next, uh, you know, what lily pad you're going to jump to next, what your, tra your career tra trajectory is going to be moving forward. Um, so anyway, enjoy the weather, guys, if you're on the East Coast. Um, and if you're anywhere where it's, you know, getting warmer out, enjoy it, go outside, get some vitamin D. Um, and hopefully I will see you soon. Let me know, uh, for those of you who decide to do the letter, I think you should do it as soon as you finish watching this, um, if you can. Let me know how it goes for you, what comes up for you, and if there are any snags. And if there are some snags or you feel some, so much resistance that you either can't finish the letter or um, you can't even start, then it's probably time for us to have a conversation. I want to offer a three, a free complimentary on the house, like conversation with me so that we can get you unstuck and so that we can get you fulfilling your purpose, um, your life's purpose. And if you don't know what that is, then let's talk to you. Like we can get you on that trajectory. Um, so you can go to apopstudios.com. You can scroll the whole way to the bottom to find my calendar and book a time with me because it's really important. It's your purpose. It's the reason you're here. I mean, imagine if we had a world filled with people who were just putting their best foot forward. I, th I think the world would be such a beautiful place, an even more beautiful place. So um, I love you guys. I hope you're enjoying the weather, and I will see you soon.